everyone, welcome back. <sighs> hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Kreiss, and today we're going to do a video that I haven't done in a long time. We're going to do a drinking with Dustin video. And usually I do these out in the kitchen, but uh, the kitchen's a mess. I need to clean the kitchen. Um, and uh, this is all just set up from the last video I shot. So I figured, why not just do it here in the game room? And, you know, maybe we'll talk about some other things while I'm doing this, too. But uh, we're going to do two in this video. And they're going to be, there's going to be a little edit because I'm not going to drink these back to back. Uh, we are going to do two pumpkin uh, beers because it is fall and it is the season for um, really, really, really good beers. Um, the first one we're going to do is America's Original Pumpkin Ale. Uh, it's Buffalo Bill's Brewery. And you can see the label right there. Uh, this is an ale brewed with pumpkin and natural spice flavor added. And there's no little story on the bottle. And I don't really see... Oh, 6% alcohol. So, you know, fairly average. And then the second one we'll do a little later. Uh, we're going to do Mad Tree's... Uh, Mad Tree Brewing Company's The Great Pumpkin. And, um, yeah, it's got a fun little name. It does have a little story on here. But uh, we will get to this one a little bit later. Right now, we're going to do uh, America's Original Pumpkin Ale. And I've had this one before, and i got to say, I really, really like this. Um, if you are a big fan of pumpkin beers, uh, this is definitely one to go out and try. Um, Alex, Return to Mother Base, and I often talk back and forth about beer every now and then, and... He's a big fan of the um, Southern Tier Pumpkin, and I think that one goes a little far. I think that one's a little extreme. In fact, I think I did a Drinking with Dustin video on it a couple years ago, and um, really, like, it, it's very sweet and sort of just, it tastes too much like pumpkin pie and not enough like a beer. So if you like that kind of thing, hey, there you go. Go give that a shot. But for my taste, that wasn't really what I wanted. This is more what I want, and uh, it's got a lovely, deep amber color there. A really nice spice profile. Um, kind of a nutmeggy, you know, pumpkin, you know, like, like you'd expect from a, anything pumpkin. Uh, that, that sort of pumpkin-y, nutmeggy, sort of spicy scent to it. So let's go ahead and give this a big swallow. Instantly, you sort of get that wash of pumpkin flavor. And then it kind of goes into a nice, malty, little bit of bitterness in it. And then as it washes down the back of your throat, you really get that big, like, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, like, um, kind of like with a little bit of Cool Whip on top. That really nice um, flavor before it kind of washes back into the, uh, the, the maltiness of the ale. It's really, really good. Um, it's a lot subtler than Southern Tears Pumpkin. Like, Pumpkin takes that spicy sort of pumpkin pie flavor just to the extreme so much that like it, it's hard for me to drink an entire bottle of it and even though it's out and um you know i see it on the shelves i just can't bring myself to buy it maybe i will buy it and uh i'll do another one of these um just for video's sake just so i can maybe give it another shot you know I've, this has been a big year of giving things another shot between the Souls series, replaying that and uh, actually finding a lot of enjoyment in it, uh, giving Pokemon X another shot and just realizing that I am never going to be a Pokemon master at that. I don't get the appeal. Uh, it, it's it's an RPG that's good enough for little kids, but for people that as crazy as they go about Pokemon, I don't get it. So maybe I will give the pumpkin another shot, but we're not talking about pumpkin right now. We're talking about America's Original Pumpkin Ale by Buffalo Bill, Buffalo Bill's Brewery. And I don't see if, uh, where they're from. Ukiah? It's U-K-I-A-H, California. 
or wait, no, that's where those bottled at. The brewery is in Hayward, California. So, a California beer. You know, Mad Tree's from Ohio, so local represent. Just really, really good. Really balanced. Um, that's kind of the impressive thing about this, because sometimes these pumpkin beers can go really to the extreme. And as this warms up, um, <clears throat> I felt like the pumpkin flavor sort of came out in it a little bit more. Um, you know, making beers really cold, which just, just came out of the fridge not too long ago. I kind of set it out a little bit to warm it up really kind of dulls out the flavor. That's why if you drink a Bud Light at any temperature other than ice cold, it's going to taste even more disgusting than it already tastes. I don't know how people drink that shit. I really, I just don't understand it. If you're in college and that's all you can get and you want to get buzzed and you go out and buy that stuff, that's one thing. But grown adults with jobs buy that. All right. But, uh, God, it's so good that this really represents what I want from a pumpkin, uh, beer, pumpkin ale. Um, I don't like to lose the beer aspect. I, I like the pumpkin flavor, but I don't want to lose that beer aspect. I don't want to lose the ale in it. And, uh, <clears throat> I feel like this one really balances uh, the sweetness of pumpkin with sort of the malty, roasty, slightly bitterness of an ale. Balances it really well. And uh, if you can find this, um, I know like uh, Kroger, which is a local, not a local, but it's a regional uh, grocery store around here. Uh, they've been getting into like, you can buy a six pack made up of several different bottles and they, you know, this was one of the ones that uh, I put in my sort of multi, you make your own multi-pack. And uh, I'm glad I did. And if you can do that, put this one in like a make your own six pack and give it a whirl. And if you're feeling super adventurous or you just really like pumpkin beers, uh, just go out and buy a six pack of this. I really don't think, if you like pumpkin beers, you're not going to be disappointed with this one. I think this one is... Um, this one is really, really, really good. And I was looking into some of their other stuff, and they have like a, a, a pumpkin stout that I really wish I could find. Um, I don't know why we just have this one and not like the pumpkin stout, because, or maybe it's a pumpkin porter. Porter or stout, they're, the two styles are so similar that, you know, you know, in this regard, there's really no difference. But, um, you know, I really want to give that one a shot too, but I have to find it first. Maybe... Um, because I got this at a grocery store. Maybe the local uh, liquor store would have them. They tend to carry a lot of really weird things. Uh, they, they carried a, a beer. Uh, it was an oyster stout by Flying Dog called the Pearl Necklace. That uh, I just assumed that I, I found it in my little town that Alex, since he lives in New York City, would be able to find it easily. But uh, he couldn't find it at all, so... You never know what you're going to find in these small little towns. Uh, so maybe, you know, maybe this isn't as widespread as I thought it was. But it's a really good, really, really, really good uh, pumpkin ale. Um, probably, probably my favorite. Although the dogfish head pumpkin is really good as well. So it, it, it's hard to, um, I don't know, this one's, this one's really tickling my fancy right now. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go out and I'm probably going to play uh, some games finish this one and then when I am ready I will come back in and film for the great pump can and I might let this um might let this set out a little bit because this is like ice cold and uh, I really want the flavors to come out so I can talk about it because I had one the other day and um it wasn't as good as that what I just had so I want to give this another big fair shot. and uh, But, you know, when it says, I'm a big Charlie Brown fan. I'm a big Peanuts fan. And when I saw The Great Pumpkin, I, I had to uh, I had to get it. They, they really, Mad Tree should have looked into somehow tying in with Peanuts. Have Linus on the bottle, or on, on, on the bottle.
bottle on the can. Have Linus on the can set next to the uh, pumpkin sucking his thumb with his blanket. That would have been great. But anyway, uh, we will get to that next. All right. So here we are with the great pumpkin. Uh, this is done by Mad Tree Brewing. They are in Cincinnati, Ohio. So uh, Ohio local, got to represent. Um, this is a pretty hefty one. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised by actually how hefty it is. It's 7.9%, which is, I don't know, it's, it's getting there, you know what I mean? Uh, usually when it gets to this level of uh, alcohol, I'm usually either drinking a IPA or a stout. That's usually the ones that have the higher end. So uh, to have a, um, a pumpkin beer on the higher end of the scale, it, it's kind of weird. So um, anyway, uh, it says up here, it's a beer, it's a can, it's a pump can. Uh, and then it has a little story here. There are three things we have learned never to discuss, religion, politics, and the great pump can. While the establishment is spooked by the mere mention of the pump can, we bravely ponder its existence. So go ahead, sing fall carols, and enjoy our way of delivering grandma's baked goodness straight to your pie hole. <laughs> so there you go. Mad Trees, uh, great pump can story. And um, I've had a couple of these. Um, and I'm just trying to warm up the can a little bit. Um, I've had a couple of these, and they didn't really light my fire kind of the way that the um waste not want not kind of the way that the um the previous beer did uh, the previous beer uh really just really really good and this is carbonated to no end so there's going to be a bit ahead on this one where there wasn't last time Now, this has been kind of a, an interesting thing here lately with um, these uh, small brewers. Uh, canning process. Apparently, the canning process has gotten a lot better over the years. And uh, you'll see a lot of these very uh, small, like, microbreweries uh, releasing thing in cans. Um, so it's kind of a, a, an interesting new thing because, you know, you're used to thinking of like just cheap watered down beer in cans. And uh, when you get your craft beer, you know, you, you want your craft beer in a nice bottle and you know, the glass imparts no flavor onto the beer and doesn't change anything. But apparently um, I've kind of read into it a little bit, not as much as I really want to, but apparently the canning process has gotten a lot better. So that's why this is in a can. But anyway, holding up to the light there, a nice deep amber color, much like the last one. You do get a hint of the spice, not as much as of the last beer. And um, if I remember correctly, this one is a lot lighter on the pumpkin flavor. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this one. Um... You get the, the, the spiced scent, and you kind of get an after effect of the flavor, but when you are got it in your mouth, it doesn't taste a thing like pumpkin. Not a thing. It kind of has a weird... A weird, I don't want to say citrusy, but like a weird tartness to it. But I only get, <clears throat> I only get the pumpkin kind of on the aftertaste. So whatever this has got going for it, maybe it's the high alcohol content. Maybe, I mean, it just says spiced ale down here. But with, when it says pump can, I'm really expecting a pumpkin flavored beer. But I don't get a lot of that. Um, I mean, I'm going to drink through. I have three more of these left. I'm going to drink the rest of them. You know, waste not, want not. But this is kind of my first experience with Mad Tree. I, I've seen them in the stores and I've been thinking about getting them. And then when I saw this, um, 
I really, really said, finally, I'll just give it a shot. And the thing of it is, is this is, this six pack was $12. Whereas the other uh, beer that I drank in this video, they're $9. So that other company, you get a better beer for less money. But these guys are local, so, you know, I, I wanted to represent an Ohio uh, brewery, but... In terms of, like, fall pumpkin beers, um, this one's just not that good. I can't really recommend it. Um, <clears throat> like I said with the last vid or the last beer... If you find a place that will let you make your own six pack and they do these cans, because I know uh, my local Kroger does let you do the cans, maybe pick one up and see if it's your style. But I'm I'm really kind of not happy with this purchase. Um, I was really hoping that maybe it just didn't hit me right the other night when I drank a couple of them, but it's just really not that good. And that's unfortunate because I, I wanted to say like this Cincinnati company, you know, this Ohio company, I don't live in Cincinnati, so don't worry about that. But this Ohio company, you know, uh, did really well. And um, the, wow, the uh, microbrew that's here in my very, very small town of 25,000 people, uh, even the stuff I don't like by them blows us out of the water. So, you know, it, you get that every now and then when you, when you want to try new things. Um, and it's important to continue to try new things, not just get stuck on uh, what you're comfortable with. But, you know, you'll get that. You'll get a disappointment. You'll get a whammy every now and then. And this is one is, um, this one's a whammy. But I know now not to pick it up. And uh, I'll, dr I'll suffer through the other three. And, uh, you know... I don't know. I guess I'll just uh, <laughs> just drink them to get uh, a nice buzz going, but um, to drink them to enjoy a good fall pumpkin beer. This one's not not for me, and I don't know if this is. I I, I don't know if they're regional only, or um, if they have they do a national. So if you can't find this in your area. It might just be like Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, you know, the, the local areas, um, regionals. So anyway, uh, this has been Mad Tree Brewing Company's The Great Pumpkin. In terms of, in terms, okay, I talked really, I talked a lot of shit about pumpkin. And with the previous beer, I would take a pumpkin over this any day of the week. Um, unfortunate. Unfortunate. I don't know what it is. I get no pumpkin until it's like all the way down your throat and you have like a weird aftertaste and then you can get a hint of the pumpkin in there. So disappointing, but you'll get that. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the return of the Drinking with Dustin videos. I'm not going to do them as much as I did way back in the day. They really overtook the channel and um, only a small portion of my audience uh, really enjoys these. But uh, I do still have a, a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue Label. I showed it on the Facebook page for another gaming podcast and said there'd be a drinking with Dustin uh, coming up. But um, I filmed one and I was really unhappy with it because I, I did it blind. And when you're talking about Johnny Walker Blue Label, you need to do some research and you need to have a couple tastings to try to get something, which I'm not a professional whiskey taster, by far, I do far better with beer than I do. I, I like, I love whiskey, but I, I, I can't pick out all the flavors that people pick out in those things. Um, but uh, when you do a video with Johnny Walker Blue Label in it, you're going to start bringing in people outside your normal audience, and I don't want to look like a complete fucking jackass <laughs> when I talk about it. So uh, it's a video in the works, but uh, I, I do plan on doing that eventually. And other than that, um, maybe I'll get a pumpkin and do a video for that and then you know maybe I'll do a video like this in the winter time where I get a bunch of winter warmers and drink them and put them all together so anyway that is it for this video I want to thank you guys so much for watching take care
I'll see you next time.